It's Unstable Topic with Sarah and Maggie. Hey, bestie. Hey, bestie. I was just commenting on the lovely t-shirt you're wearing. It's uh, the monthly junk t-shirt and that you ordered, that we designed and ordered just for you. Me. And yep. <laughs> I also... I'm wearing my free Jess and Meg shirt from our other podcast, Blender, the podcast. So we're like decked out in our own merch Mm -hmm. that we got just for us to wear. Look, here's the thing. Anyone can wear it. You can buy one. Yeah, You can buy one. You and you and everyone can buy a monthly junk t-shirt. I do like this one a lot. I was just saying because it's a V-neck and I feel like it gives it just a little bit more pizzazz and i'm like that's us and it's an olive color and that's a nice neutral you know yeah that's not my black favorite. not white the olive is my favorite neutral i would agree it's a good olive green goes with everything type of a shirt and too yeah and when i wear it I'm, I'm repping the brand and people won't ask me about it but if they do i would be ready to say yeah this is my company i co-own it with my best friend I do want an uh, Unstable Topics Hey Bestie shirt. I want okay, one. I'll get on that. And I, and I want it Best Friend shirt. So I can order one. You had this idea. It'd be Hey Bestie on the right, and you can get your Best Friend one that has it on the left. So when you stand next to each other, it would be Hey Bestie, Hey Bestie. Yeah. Yeah. I think that we definitely need to make that and get those. And what's nice is or you know, just order it on Bonfire, and then you can just like – you can have just we can just order it, you know. We can you just like no or minimum. everyone, right? There's and then everyone mug. can get it because they'll see everyone us can, anyone. Day. Or a mug, you get hey bestie, hey bestie mugs. That's cute. Wine glasses, nice. and then it's cheers, cheers. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you cheers. They to don't people. do caps. They don't do hats on on it though. But That's who wants problem. a hey bestie hat, Maggie? Though I don't know if I'm ready for that type of hat. Yeah, hey Maggie, hey hey bestie hat, Maggie. I'm gonna get. Ooh. I'm gonna make a hat that just says Maggie on it, and then every time I wear it, I'm hat Maggie. You know what? I will remember that and expect it for a gift. Okay, for I'm not gonna buy it for something. myself, but I will Don't be buy- <laughs> anxiously awaiting for my birthday. Or Christmas I'll be like, or- "What do you want?" And I'll be like, "Nothing." Sarah's getting me exactly what I want. It's like, <laughs> and I won't even say. I'll be like, "Don't worry, it's coming." You'll see. You know what? Should we have like an anniversary? Because we've been, like it's been a decade. This is our 10th year, right, of the monthly junk. We're in our 11th year, Sarah. We're in our 11th? This isn't in our 10th? Yeah. Remember last year we celebrated our 10th all year long? (laughs) That's true. But we never, we never finished with a party. I feel like companies like Disney World, Disneyland, Disney, they celebrate 50 years all the time. It's always 50 years. We're always mm-hmm. 75 years or whatever. So we can always celebrate 10. Yeah. We can celebrate te- 11. We can celebrate we can 12, celebrate 13, 11. 14. When would our anniversary be? Would it be the – like I feel like it was fall when we started performing together. Yeah. It was definitely fall of 2012, right? Yeah. Right. I think it was fall of 2012 because I quit my job. Mm-hmm. Um, it was fall of 2012. Yeah. So fall time. Fall time will have gift exchange. We'll do a gift exchange for the okay. 11th year. I'm going to get you. You're... I don't want to spoil, but I'm going to get you a hat that says Maggie on it. Okay, well, speaking be- of fun accessories, are you ready for your fact? I'm ready for my fact. Okay. Toenails may seem like a fun little dead skin accessory to decorate, like with paint and whatnot, but they actually serve a function. Toenails help us balance. No way. Really? Did you know that? No, I just assumed – I don't know what toenails were for. I, I just thought it was part of your body, like, getting rid of dead skin. But they help us actually balance. They do. So toenails, like, they assist in the sensory mechanism that helps us interpret our surroundings and maintain our balance. 
That's and wild. The word for that is propriocep proprioception. Proprioception? That's what the sensory mechanism is that toenails help with. Yeah. You know, whether that, it's a torch. I just like think about toenails and I don't think of them doing anything. But I remember a story about my one of my best friends in elementary school. Her grandpa lost like his pinky toe. And so sometimes he would just start walking in a little curved line because it's so important. Toes are so important, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Well, toenails. Toenails are so important. I knew I knew toes were important, like for balance and running and walking. But I never would have thought like the little helper toenails are. I will treasure my toenails more now. I now that I know they serve like a functional purpose. Yeah. They're not just vanity. It's not vanity. Are your toenails painted right now? No, they are not. Um, I am tempted to raise my foot nope. again. <laughs> We've already had <laughs> one foot content video. I, I think don't know one, do one is twice. enough per year. Every year you can share your foot with the world and we can look at how Thank it's you. changed and grown <laughs> and how your toenails are different. No, they're not painted. Um, I probably, here's what happens with pedicures for me. I'll go get one and it will, la and like, I won't get it again for six months and it'll be the same color or I'll get tired of it looking awful and just take it off. Yeah. The color. I feel like once so, you start painting your toenails, you can never not paint them though. You know what I mean? Like during the mm -hmm. winter, I guess you can take it off, but my toes now they like need polish on them. Mm. I haven't had polish on my toes for a couple of years. It's been a while because COVID hit and I remember right before COVID, I was getting my nails done a lot. Like it made me feel really special, like getting my nails done. Mm -hmm. And then COVID hit and just, I never went back to that. I'm like, I'm not going to keep spending this money on getting That's my nails. That's interesting. Like what things did you give up? I used to have a lady come clean our house every other week and then COVID hit. And now my house has not been professionally cleaned since COVID. And yeah. That's something I should get back. The thing is with cleaning house, and you and I, I believe, have talked about this. I love that idea of having someone come in and professionally clean the house, like get the the baseboards, the windowsills, all the things. I I'm like, oh, I don't have time for this. But I would have to clean my house for my house to be cleaned. I'm just that type of person, and I wouldn't want to be here because that's I would feel like I was intruding on their space and their time to do their job and I wouldn't want to do that for them yeah you'd have to leave I get that I it's kind of nice though because you do have to clean up a little bit like you have to like tidy up before the cleaning person comes you know yeah. like you have to because otherwise they won't be able to clean because they'll be like I can't I don't know what to clean it's needs to be tidied so priorities yeah well I will say when I get kind of a good segue though if I can if I may if I may segue you may, you may. because you may segue. we know that toenails are helpful but kind of gross just like cleaning people are helpful, but they kind of have to do gross things. Here's something else. Would you rather clip a stranger's toenails or scrub a stranger's scalp? Scalp? Scalp. Like wash their oh, hair. Oh, like, like scrub their, their scalp. Hair? Like be a hairdresser or be a pedicurist. Right. But specifically thinking about those tasks, you know, like not don't think about the glamorous part of doing like cool nail art and don't think about the really artistic, cool part of dyeing and cutting hair. Like I want you to think about the cutting of a, someone's toenails or the scrubbing of someone's scalp. I think I would do the scrubbing of someone's scalp because I cut my children's toenails and I also scrub their scalp. And if I would not know those people, I would I didn't want to touch their feet. I'd rather put my hand in water and soap and rub their head than that. I have a quick aside about toenail clippings, if I may. Yes. Uh, if you one of my first one of my first jobs, I was in advertising and my boss uh is cubicle, it was open concept, you know, everything's open concept, was down like this little hallway and you would hear this clip 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 I'm like what is that sound and you would just like casually walk by he would be clipping his toenails in his office and I'm like what are you thinking there's no door we're at work 
I mean, with some where your toenails bothering, maybe he was off balance. Maybe he needed to clip his toenails because he was off balance. I don't know. Now it gives me new perspective. <laughs> that's that's next level boss move. That's like <laughs> you're in my house now. You want to know how much you're in my house? I'm going to clip my toenails in here with no regard for anyone's you, sensory do, issues. Do you, think he, do you think he kept the toenail clippers in his desk or do you think he brought them from home that day? Oh, he kept them. He kept it was them like something desk. he did. And then he would have to vacuum them up. Like, yeah. how do you get them up? Someone who is clipping their toenails in their office, Sarah, is not vacuuming up the toenail clippings. They're Disgusting. waiting for someone to come and vacuum them up for them. And that poor end of day person with the vacuum who has to do that. And you can hear them in the vacuum like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they know. What about you? Would you rather um, wash someone's hair or clip someone's toenail? I think I would wash someone's hair. Um, sometimes hair kind of gives me the eepies, like, Ugh. but I think hmm. I think you're right that you have like a whole sink there with fresh water versus like when you're doing a, someone's toenails, you just have like the sitting water. Mm-hmm. And I think that, uh, I think I'd prefer to do that, you know, mm-hmm. still satisfying, mm-hmm. but not as gross. We've reached the point in our program where we must thank our Patreon supporters. Unstable Topics may not have a Patreon or any paid subscribers, but that won't stop Sarah and Maggie from pretending they do in this game of make up starting with a randomly generated name. Okay, Maggie, um, what's interesting about today's Patreon, and this is unplanned, you are wearing uh, a free Jess and Meg shirt, and today's Patreon thank you is actually from Jess and Meg. They wrote us specifically letting us know that they have contributed to our Patreon, um, I guess, account or channel and wanted to let us know because there's, they can't call, they can't call us because they're in jail still. Um, Right. But they, in their letter, they say, Sarah and Maggie, we just wanted to say you're doing really good work. We would like to think we are inspirations for you both since we did the podcast first and now you guys are doing a podcast. Oh, well, that's a little part. (laughs) That was so Um, touching. It made me sneeze. That was, that's so sweet of them because they are truly inspiration to me. They are. Um, They did subscribe at the lowest level possible but you know what they're in prison so i don't really don't know how they're getting their income um, yeah, but yeah and the so downline meg. you know meg's meg's got the multi-level marketing thing and that kind of ebbs mm-hmm. and flows so you don't want to overcommit when you're in yeah. when you're a boss you know when you're an yeah, entrepreneur I, mm-hmm. and I, I would be remiss not to mention uh, Meg and Jess have their own podcast called Blender the Podcast. Um, look, this is like a good opportunity to cross promote. I know they would be pleased to know that we are when they listen to us. Hi, Jess and Meg, that we, we're giving them a plug. I mean, it's got to be hard sitting there every day looking at the yeah. same thing. You know, know what else about Jess and Meg that I will say is their short for the short film loosely based off of their experience also featuring us you know like we're in it um just got honorable mention at the usa film festival i know that's huge that's a huge we were that film was up against some really awesome really awesome work and for us to get an honorable mention amongst the others it really is truly is an honor and jesse yeah. meg we were going to tell you at some point we apologize that you're finding out through the podcast But again, when you are in prison, wrongfully, wrongfully in prison, um, it is, it is challenging to get you information in a timely manner. Yeah. It makes it hard, but we do love you. Thank you so much, ladies. And um, when your downline gets bigger, I can't wait for y'all to uh, invest in a higher, higher Patreon level. Sarah, are you ready for a fact? I am. Hiccups occur more frequently in men than women. One cause of hiccups is having a very full stomach, either from food, alcohol, or air. Other causes are stress or excitement or quick change in temperature, like drinking a hot beverage and then a cold one right after. 
But it's interesting that it happens more in men. But then when you read off the reasons why, like, oh, that makes more sense to me. Like the air part specifically. Like, <laughs> what what about air they, and men? Do you think think is it a cause? A lot of hot air. You know, I feel like there's a lot of men with a lot of hot air, and they're just talking a lot. And I'm like, well, of course you're gonna get the hiccups if you just stop talking as much. I bet you would be fine. And also the food part. I knew the food bit. Like if you eat a lot, your diaphragm or whatever gets full and can't, can't bounce you. up and down or bounces mm-hmm. up more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought it was mm-hmm. interesting and I the drinking a hot beverage and then a cold one because I'm someone that if I'm going out to breakfast, I will have a water, an orange juice, and a coffee. You know, like I will have all of those drinks and I will alternate sips between hot, cold, like a, like a medley of beverages. But I don't it's remember ever getting the hiccups from that. I wonder well, if I just probably, know. I don't know. I was just thinking about when I go out to breakfast and I do have more than one beverage. I think I, I have alternated sometimes between water and like orange juice, but usually I stick to one. I stick to one and then when I'm done, but then I, you know, sometimes like you drink a sip of orange juice. And I'm like, that's orange juice is really acidic, you know? So you got to get, you got to balance that with something. Yeah. Unless there's champagne in it. And then I'm like, I don't need a water. There's champagne <laughs> I mean, in my water. I don't need She's... a breakfast. I, I just fine. need more of this mimosa. I have not usually also... drink mimosas, but I was at, when I was at the lake uh, recently with my gal friends, we had lots of mimosas and they were putting pomegranate juice. Yeah. With the champagne. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, welcome. Interesting. That's like very 2018. Like that's something that's been around for a while. Really? And I'm yeah. Oh yeah, pomegranate juice. I have to say, my friend Ashley though, um, she introduces me to a lot of different types of beverages. She's I wouldn't say bougie because Ashley isn't bougie, but I would say Ashley whenever, is bougie as a compliment. You think Ashley's as a compliment? Yeah, she, but she's like she's always introducing me to things, and so. I feel like it was her that introduced me to mixing champagne and pomegranate. And I feel like at one party, she even had like seeds you could put in. She's very, like, you go to an Ashley party, she will do it big. She does it big. She does it right. And I'm like, way to go. And Sarah also does it big and does it right. Might have been one of them. I feel like one of them must have introduced me. That seems very on brand for them. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sure they're listening and – I'm just going to throw my name in the hat for like um, if they ever need to invite. If they're like, gosh, this party would be good with one more person. Like maybe they need one one more person there. Just like who could it be? Who could it be? Who could come to this party? It could be me. I could come. It could be you. It is, like come. they 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 throw great parties. They're You will never go into one of their parties without your hands being empty of food or beverage. They will make yeah. sure, and it's like the good stuff. Like if you come to my party, I'm like, yeah, it's 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 fine. You I mean, do it's good fine. stuff. You always yeah, got like, like little centerpieces. Yeah, but there. Thank you for that. I think, but like you go to an Ashley and Sarah party, you're getting top shelf. You're getting mm. top shelf stuff, and it's and they enjoy it. And I'm like, oh, this is nice having friends. That yeah, it's good to have fancy friends. I I say. Mm. I said. Um, which is not a good segue into this reaction, but I'll ask it anyways. Are you ready to react? Yeah. Okay. Men are more likely to get a case of the hiccups. What is something else that men are more likely to do, in your opinion? Win political campaigns. Uh, <laughs> get promoted. Make more money, uh, fun films, take longer vacations, get recognized for being a dad. Is this what you're looking for? Is this all? Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, those are all. I, I guess. Re- no, I mean, it's your opinion. So some oh, of those things sounded oh. like facts. They did. I mean, and some of them I mean, were those opinions, are, you know. I mean, those are my those are my opinions. Things that happen to men 
more than women, right? That was the that was the react question. Men are more likely to do. Yeah. So do. Yeah. Yeah. They're more likely. Yeah. 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 What about you? What do, what's what do you think men are more likely to do? Um, I think men are more likely to climb on the roof of a house. <laughs> this is true. You know, this is true. Like if I think yeah, it's like or something like, that I'm like, I I could do that. Uh, I'm probably not likely to do that, but I think mm-hmm. a man is likely. I think in their lifetime, a man is more likely to climb on a house more often. Mm-hmm. For various reasons. Um, yeah. The, right now, I need to be my Santa. Husband, yeah. You know. Right now, my husband's like, I need to get on the roof and get these limbs off. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But I will say, when men climb on roofs, it's always the most inconvenient time. Like, <laughs> it's right before dinner. Um, we're going to go to an activity with the kids or it's nap time and it's like you know what now I'm going to get on the roof now is the time for me to get the ladder out of the garage put it together get on the roof and do whatever it is that needs to be done yeah yeah Kyle had to get on the roof the other day like a couple months ago because we had a little raccoon in our chimney Mm -hmm. it had moved away the chicken wire that was covering the top of the chimney and got in there so we had to go up on the roof to fix all that and try and get them out. And the kids and I just stayed in the backyard in their little tree fort. And they were like, show us the raccoon. Get where's the raccoon. <laughs> very he Lord was, of the Flies. Yeah, he was very brave, though. I didn't want to be up there. Something I will not likely do. Get on the roof to chase raccoons out of a chimney. Or when office, political office. Or be called an amazing dad. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, we would love a review, subscribe, or for you to share this with a friend you think would like it. Or all three of those things. You can do all three and make our day and help us grow.